Oh, my uncle Aubrey, when I was just as early back as I could remember, he was an artist and, and he was always sketching these little Western scenes and it just was magic to me, pure magic to see a blank piece of paper become something. And he'd walk me around and show me the prints in my grandparents' house and it was just fascinating to me. So yes, I always did feel like I wanted to do that. I wanted to make that magic happen where there was nothing, you know, to, to just make something happen. That act of creating, I love that. <laughs> so yeah, my aunt tells me when I was three, I wanted, I said I was going to be an artist like my Uncle Aubrey. <laughs> I paint mostly animals and always have. I've never really been interested in, in people or portraiture. Um, so I've, often there's a motherhood theme going on. But then other times it's just like a solo animal. It's like a, uh, a portrait of an animal. But I, I want to personify them a little bit, you know, so that you can look at it and say, I think that she's thinking, you know. <laughs> I just have this this real connection to to God's creation when I see when I see nature and I can take it and and make it my own it just feels like a, a real I don't know it's just it's it's an amazing experience to me to just be able to to take what I see and and make it a little different <laughs> so my art often has a some kind of a bright light source or or color I love colors <laughs> And I tried to tone that down a little bit there for a while, but it's coming back. <laughs> I can't, I can't stop. <laughs> um, so yeah, light. I, I, I'm very much into light. I like to to see the way sunlight just makes something shine. I love things to be backlit and and bright. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I learned so much about reflected light and reflected color by painting outdoors, and so that's a wonderful thing. Yeah, it's been very good for my my studio work to go out and do it from from life. <laughs> I always had this desire to go dark to light and pile it up. You know, the thickness of of the oil paint just thrills me. I, still, I I love it. <laughs> I would tell kids that or anyone wanting to become an artist to to just keep working at it keep practicing because all that time that you're pouring into it is is creating a clientele and a, a history a body of work a discipline self-discipline that you can take with you when you do make the break and become an artist I would tell them to not give up and I'd also tell them though not to quit their day job because a lot of artists do that they'll say you know I as a young artist I thought that I had to I had to get a degree and then I would be a professional and then that's all I would do and it's not like that I spent a lot of years working and doing other jobs besides the art and that wanting the art so bad made me save the money for for the studio it made me just I, I really, really was dedicated because I'd only have a little bit of time to spend on it, so that time had to be devoted to art. And I had to make decisions, you know, prioritize. That's what I would tell kids also, or anyone wanting to be an artist. You have to decide what you're gonna give up if, if it's that important. So yeah, that's, that's about what I'd say. <laughs>